I'm Jesse Forbes. And I'm Monica Ortloff. And you're watching The Truth Teller Show. What's up, everybody? James Robinson, Truth Teller for NewsCaller.com in the city of Hesperia. I'm out here at the board meeting, which is going to kick off in around 30 minutes. It's amazing. They already have uh, news media out here. In addition, it looks like it's going to be a packed house. As you know, we put on the town hall event last week. Um, so it's going to be interesting to get the pulse of the parents and some of the students out here to see what exactly uh, is going to go down tonight. Um, I haven't seen any administrators, but I'll definitely try to get them on tape and see if they have any comments for us today. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, man, just here today to help support some friends and family that we know that are into gay rights and all that. And we want to make sure that, uh, you know, students are taken care of and not bullied for sexual preference, anything Why exactly like that. are you out here? I'm out here because I work with an LGBTQ specific outreach program. Okay. And we are the ones that wanted to come into Sultana and provide the education that we think would Prevent, prevent something like this. Okay. And so we're working now to get back in. Now, are you going to be speaking tonight? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> if they'll right. hear me. All right. Have you have you have you already uh, filled out the paper? No, I gotta you get in you got to get in there. All right. Well, um, I'm going to keep trying to get a little bit more interviews out here, everybody. So uh, check the show out tonight. It will definitely be up at around nine or ten o'clock. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Monica Ortloff, and I am the Gay Straight Alliance advisor at Granite Hills High School, and I'm here to support um, Hesperia and Sultana. Oh, call it. Sultana to help them in their lives and how to grow and how to move on from this. Uh, but I'm here to offer you any kind of support that you need in dealing with the situation that's come. Um, we do educational presentations, we do sensitivity trainings, I have anything that you would need, I have for you. I'd also like to let the kids know that I'm here for them as far as any kind of education, job training, anything like that to make sure that they're getting out into the world on their two feet. So, if any of you, I have some contact information for you, if any of you would like to see that. Um, I went to Sultana in January and asked to present some information to their staff and administration. Truth teller here, I just stepped out of the uh, meeting, it's continuing right now. You know, the, um, it's pr pretty uh, productive actually. Um, there's several people who spoke who had issues with um, with some teachers. Uh, one teacher actually spoke up uh, from a different school outside of Sultana and said, uh, Hey, um, I've had some complaints. I've talked to um, teachers, administrators, and uh, nothing's pretty much happened. She said, hey, we have some good teachers here, some bad teachers here. But for one thing, we need to look into what's going on at the, on the administrative side where, for some reason, um, complaints are just being buried in the sand. So uh, that, that was one issue. And the non-so-good teachers. I have several issues with some of the teachers from... Um, my daughter's school, and I uh, actually even to the point that I've addressed them with the teachers, and um, it didn't go well, far enough, and then I addressed it with the principal and the vice principal, and I was kind of told that the teachers have um, leverage in a certain way. I called into the school district here uh, about a um, couple weeks ago, and I actually, I don't, I'm sorry to say that I don't have the person's name that I spoke to. She was really helpful. She recommended that I go back to my daughter's school and uh, try to have my daughter speak with uh, uh, Mr. Maschek, um, apparently he's been fighting the district for several years in regards to runoff onto his property and his neighbors. Uh, this is my second meeting um, that I've attended. I attended one maybe around four or five months ago, and he was then talking about this issue. And for some reason, um, the district is just, um, I don't know, there's some shenanigans going on with that. Um, he actually had pictures, uh, had a presentation. You can see all the runoff on his property uh, as a result of the construction. So uh, stay tuned. School. This is your parking lot. It flows right down in my house. This is this year. Mr. Maschick, your time's up. 
Can I have 30 seconds? Mr. Swanson, you said at a workshop several times. Mm -hmm. Mr. Best, I don't ever want to limit this board from seeking knowledge. Do any of you have any questions? You can have more time. Go ahead. Thank you. This is this year. If any of you live in the high desert, you know that this year and last winter, we haven't had much rain. And what does the district ask me? Well, are you having any problems now? We haven't had much rain. This is last, last month, a group of geology students that I'm working with. This past year, I've worked with over 2,000 students from elementary school to college. I know what the heck I'm talking about things. Anyway, that's it. I was promised something last May and then told it would come in June. Then it come in July. Then it would come in August. I was promised something a couple months ago. All right, everyone, I have to step back out. Uh, Mr. Maschuk is speaking for a second time, and he had mentioned um, that one uh, parent and teacher that spoke about having issues with other uh, teachers. Apparently, Mr. Maschuk, um, when she stepped out, had a conversation with her, and in the uh, public comments, he mentioned that she was actually afraid to come here tonight due to retaliation which is uh, another theme uh, with Miss Frost over at Sultana. Apparently there's some form of the retaliation. I guess it's the people within the district know it's there because uh, Maschek is talking about it right now. So uh, I just want to give you another update on that. So just stay tuned. All right, everyone, it's going to be my last report for right now. I'm going to go back inside. You know, it's pretty interesting with the mainstream media. You know, Channel 4 was out here. And uh, before the event started, you know, uh, the commentator was always pretty much interested to see if the ACLU was going to come out to the event. And once uh, she was advised by some of the party members that maybe they may or may not come, they only stayed for a hot minute and then they were out the door. So that's pretty interesting. Um, they're always in it for the headlines versus really covering the issue at hand.